Hey guys, how's it going? I got a little bit of a different video for you guys today that I've never done before. So if you can't tell by the parts behind me here, I'm gonna build my first uh, PC ever. So we're gonna see how this goes. Now, being that this is the military, I have just crappy little furniture. So if I can build it in this room with the little limited room and tools that I have, I'm sure you guys can do this. Um, like I said, this is gonna be my first one ever, so we'll see how it goes. Now I'm not actually doing this without help. I'm gonna be watching YouTube videos from Bitwit right here as he builds in the S30, uh, S340 Elite case. So this is actually gonna be what this computer is replacing. So I've had this laptop for about four years now and it's about time that I upgrade. All right, so first the hardware that I'm gonna be using. We have the Strix Z270E gaming motherboard. Well, it's not the Strix, it's actually from ASUS. So I can't wait to be using this out. It's one of the newer ones. Uh, it's got a lot of the features I'm gonna be looking for. Here we have the GTX 1080 from ASUS, Strix series, also kind of brand new. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's been out for a little bit, but can't be waiting. I can't wait to use this. Over here I have the Kraken uh, X62. It's a 280 millimeter liquid cooler. It obviously, as it says right on the box, um, but this is going to be great for cooling the Core i7. It's the uh, 7700K, so one of the newer chipsets, but I can't wait. Also, what's going to be storing everything is this SSD, the Samsung 850 EVO. It's 500 gigabytes, but everyone online says it has great read and write speeds. Like I said, I've only been doing research for the past month, but I'm hoping this all works out. Over here I have some Vengeance LEDs. Now this is DDR4. It's 32 gigabytes at 3000 millihertz. So <sighs> I can't wait to see these lights. Now I did see that G-Skill came out with some RGB RAM that I really wish I could have incorporated, but I'll have to look at getting that down the road. And the case, I have the S340 Elite. Now, I've seen a lot of this online. I love that it just has this whole tempered glass on the front of it, and I can't wait to build in this. So let's see how it goes.
All right, so that's the video of me building my computer or the time lapse. I did have to cut it short uh, because I had a friend call me up in the middle of the video, and also the GoPro video almost uh, the GoPro battery almost died. So I did cut it short. Uh, you guys didn't get to see pretty much. I had everything built. You just didn't get to see the cable management and me actually putting the power supply in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and definitely if you think about building your own computer, I recommend looking up Linus Tech Tips and Bitwit because those. Are the those are the two guys that helped me the most, and I couldn't have done it without them. But uh, don't be afraid of building your own computer, because it's not as hard as you think. It's and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's just a, it's like Legos for adults. And like I said earlier, I don't know if I, no, I didn't say it earlier, but you can build yourself a computer that's just as powerful as one you can buy stock from any store, if not more powerful, for cheaper. So it's, it's a great way um, just to... Kind of have fun with it, make your own computer. If you're bored, um, pick up a new hobby. Why not? Anyways, I'm going to get going. I'm going to start rambling otherwise. So, uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you guys thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. I don't really have a theme to mine, but you never know. So, All right. See you guys later. Bye.